what's up guys um this is a follow-up video to the one of where i um installed the led tail and brake lights uh in that video i showed that for some reason my brake lights quit working uh with the front and rear brake so today i'm gonna show you kind of how to diagnose that um, you can check pull this panel straight down and check your fuses in here first i did that they were all good um, so i moved on to uh, the next most common failure point on these bikes, which is the rear brake switch. It's kind of hidden right here. It's just got two spade connectors on it that pull straight off. I did that with a needle nose. It's kind of hard to get back there without removing this, which um, I am going to remove it because that switch is bad. Uh, so what I did to test this is, so your first step is gonna put the key in, gonna be to put the key in turn it all the way forward. Um, mine did not need to be in the run position, but if you wanna be sure, go ahead, put it in the run position. And then you'll want a test light or a voltmeter. If you're using a test light, you'll wanna hook on to a known good ground, um, something metal on the frame or the negative post on the battery, which can be accessed by removing this panel or the seat. Um, I'm using a voltmeter here. So what I'm gonna do is I have the ignition on and I'm just gonna check, oh. <laughs> Day. I'm going to check these wires for power. As you can see, I'm getting 12 and a half volts. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean anything though. Um, this does not put a load on it. Sometimes if you have a wire that's broken except for one strand or if it's corroded, um, it'll have 12 volts, but it can't carry the load. Um, so a better way to test that would be to use a paper clip because that way the current has to flow to the lights. I'm just gonna put a paper clip between the two connectors. Make sure it doesn't touch anything metal because there's power flowing through that. Don't want it to arc out on anything. But if you come back here, you should see um, if all of your wiring is good, your brake lights should come on. I'm gonna pull the uh, paper clip and the brake lights should go out. I didn't have a good connection before, so that's on, off. So we know the wiring is good, and the only thing we're bypassing with this paper clip is the switch. So I basically just condemned the rear brake light switch. We're gonna go ahead and replace that now. All right, now ignore this. I know this is hideous. It was some degreaser that sucks and it ruined it, so I gotta figure out a way to fix that. If anybody knows, let me know how. Uh, <laughs> what we're gonna do is take and pull on this plastic cover. It's gonna rotate around so we can get to the screw, which is a 3 16 Allen. Remove that so we can remove our brake reservoir for the rear, get that out of the way, give us a little more room. There we go. Now we should be able to get a crescent wrench on there. I don't know exactly what size this is. If I had to guess, I would say three quarter. Might even be under that. It might be like a 11 16 or something. rotate counterclockwise again make sure this is wires are that the wires are unhooked you don't want to um, pull too hard on this because it threads into the brake line if you uh, can see in here there's actually some flats on the brake line as well so if you're having to pull really hard on this grab a second wrench and put it on here to support the brake line so you don't twist it and ruin it all right, now it's getting pretty loose. I can almost pull it out by hand. Um, as you can see, there's some thread tape on the threads of this. The new switch did not come with thread tape on it. And I unfortunately don't have any on me. So I'm just gonna have to make sure I get it in nice and tight. And if it leaks, I'll pull it back out and thread tape it. Um, this is the part number. I'll post it in the video description if you wanna buy it online. Um, it does come with new connectors, but I don't think I'm gonna need those unless these are wider, we'll find out. Uh, and I'm not sure if we're gonna lose any fluid here. So um, we're gonna try to be quick about it and pull this one out, pull the new one in. And uh, I don't know, we might have to bleed, I'm not sure. All 
All right, so I lost maybe two drops of fluid here. I didn't take the time to see if there was a, a, any sort of valve or anything in there to keep fluid from flowing. Get it tight by hand, and then we'll finish it off with the wrench. Again, you don't need to be reefing on it. I'm just using like a six inch, cre six inch crescent wrench, and that's more than enough. It's just fine thread. All right, there we go, nice and tight. Make sure you dispose of the new switch, or sorry, the old switch, uh, and uh, make sure to wipe off any brake clean that might have spilled. Um, you don't want it eating your paint. Use some brake clean if you have to to get the brake fluid off. Now we're gonna try to reconnect these old connectors, see if they're usable or not. And they seem to be. You gotta have small hands for this. There we go. Now, before we put anything else together, we can test the switch. So we'll turn the ignition on again. Should have tail lights. We'll try the front brake. Look at that. I'll do the rear. So there we go. Um, they must be in circuit with each other. I figured there's no way both switches went out at the same time. So if if it doesn't, if your brake lights don't work with the front or rear, it could be just the rear switch like this. So now just to finish it off, three sixteenths Allen bolt back on here. Tighten that up nice and snug. And we will rotate and clip on the plastic piece and we're all done. Now all that's left is to take it for a ride. Um, be nice and easy on it at first. Make sure you work that rear brake. See if it feels spongy. Make sure it's working how it should. Um, I will put down in the video description if I ended up having to bleed the brakes or not. So make sure you check down there. Um, if if, I, if there's no issues, I won't report anything down there, but make sure to check down there in case I report any uh, problems. And uh, at that point, I will probably make a video on how to bleed the rear brakes. Uh, if this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this, and check me out on Facebook at Tony the Truck Guy. Thanks for watching. Hey, are you gonna do it? <laughs> Sick, dude. Ah, oh, junk. Easy. <laughs> Tony the truck guy videos. Adventure, sumo adventure. <laughs>